Good morning, Barker Road. It's good to be able to kind of see you. We miss you so much at school, and I just wanted to reach out to be able to say hi, and knowing that next week you are going to be heading into um, some slight changes with your instruction, and you'll be seeing a lot more of your teachers online, and they are so excited for that. So some of your teachers you'll be able to see through a video recording just like this, uh, and some you'll be able to interact with on Zoom or through Microsoft Teams. And I know some of you have already been doing that. So, um, so we're really excited for next week to be able to increase a little bit of what you're doing. Um, but I also want to make sure that our expectations are very clear and that you know what you're heading into next week. Because a lot of you are not familiar with using things like Zoom or micro Microsoft Teams um, in terms of the video chat piece. So. Um, one of the things that we wanted to share with you is how we expect our students are going to interact and behave when they are on some of these online platforms. So really you have to remember that when you are interacting online in this setting, you are at school. So the same things that we would expect at school are going to be expected when you're in your video conferences. Um, some of those things are like our language, our behavior, the way we interact with each other, and of course, following what your teachers are asking you to do in those settings. So your teachers will be able to share expectations for their settings. Some of them may ask you to stay muted until they unmute you. Uh, many of them will place you in a waiting room before you're allowed in. So that just means when you log in, you'll see that you have to wait uh, a few seconds or a minute or two uh, before your teacher lets you into the room. That allows us to make sure that we know exactly who's in the room and that we can match up who you are with the name that you've presented. So um, especially if you're using Zoom, we are going to expect that all of our students use their own uh, name. So no um, funny names or, or other screen names or things like that. Um, your teachers have the ability to be able to record all of uh, the sessions that are happening and they have the ability to be able to mute or remove um, students if they're not um, following the expectation. So we want to make sure that everything you're saying and or typing are things that you would feel really comfortable sharing with parents, family members, and me. Okay, so um, just keep those things in mind. I know you're super excited not just to be able to interact with your teachers, but also your classmates. So we can sometimes get a little overexcited in those settings, and we want to just make sure that everybody um, is able to enjoy the experience and um, not have a ton of distractions. So with that, you'll notice that I'm behind or in front of uh, a really plain background. That's something to keep in mind. You don't want anything distracting behind you. Certainly you wouldn't want anything inappropriate behind you, but you also don't want to be picking up your computer and walking around the house with it. That can be really distracting to other kids, especially if there's 20 people up on the screen and people are moving all around. So find a spot in your house uh, that works, that you have kind of a, a plain background that you can sit in front of so that people can focus on um, what your teacher is saying and what your classmates are saying. Some teachers may allow you to use the chat feature in either Teams or Zoom. So just remember that anytime you use the chat feature, that goes to the entire group, uh, and those things are there for us to be able to record and look back on. So we want to make sure that what we are saying is um, appropriate, but also on task with the things that you're talking about. Um, some teachers may ask you to not use the chat feature at all. So Remember, it's always a situation where what your teacher asks you to do in those settings um, is, is the most important thing, and that may look different in some different settings. Um, so all, the, all, the other thing I would just want to mention to you is just like at school, uh, this is an educational setting. So no screenshots of things. We don't want people taking videos of things, um, no social media, anything like that. So we want to interact as close as we can to as we would if we were in a classroom setting because we miss you and we know that you need that and we need that. So um, we hope that you are all well. I'm gonna try and make some more videos moving forward in the future so that uh, we can keep connecting, but know that uh, we're so looking forward to seeing you again. I hope that you're all safe and doing well. Um, so stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember to always look for the good things that are happening out there. There's so many good things happening uh, and we hope to be able to see you back in school very, very soon. Bye everyone.